Welcome back. We have uh, removed the crust from the the socket upstairs. So let's see what that accomplished. Raise this again. Uh, what can we do now? This thing is remarkably hard to aim at. There we go. Uh, we can rotate. Ooh, alright. Well, we keep getting messages about things being unaligned, so... Let's align them. This isn't really helping us get to the gate. We need to move the bottom one. Coupled. Coupled! Right, that actually did something. Another moving together! Alright, so then I can move that there. And then... We need to be able to get there as well. Like, So we need the lowered bridge by where the bulwark kit is. Plus I need to be able to get off here, which I currently can't. So uncouple them and move that back over here. Uh, that's just, it just looks so unpleasant to stand here. I'd be holding my breath the whole time. Uh, and hopefully we can still lower that, even though they're not perpendicular. And we can. Alright, back to the bulwark. Gotta wait for the uh, water, or acid really, to pour in. This must be a good suit. Just borrowed it from the maintainers. Does kind of remind me of a maintainer suit. Alright, now we can easily reach this. Booyah! That did the trick. So there are there are sockets here that lets you couple and decouple from inside, but they would this would have to be raised. You can't be down here. I guess that's really only useful if the if this vat is empty. Then you could use those sockets as well as the middle one to couple from above. Guess they wanted some redundancy here. And we are back. Let's see. Can I reach it from here? No, that's that's too far even with the upgrade, so... Wait, I can't reach that. Not useful, but I can. Uh, just need to raise that again. All right, now I can open that. Okay. Well, that did nothing. Well, it opened the hash, presumably. Which... Can you see that? I actually don't know, so this might be an entirely useless diversion. 
but uh, I want to try. I'll just try and do it as quickly as I can. If only we didn't have to wait for the water. Could save some time. Yep, it's open. That's open, all right. Doesn't go very far. And I can't go in it anyway. And while this was less exciting than it's uh, exciting than I thought it would be. But at least we've proved that the that the uh, the hatch is open. But otherwise, this was a little bit of a waste of time. And we all know I never waste time in my Let's Plays. I am anything if not optimally efficient with my time usage. I never just stand around and talk, especially. That would be preposterous. Wait, I went too far. Okay, well, with the hatch open, hopefully we can use this other control inside the control room. Alright, it's draining. There it goes. It's draining into here. Sweet. to wait for that to finish. Yeah, see now it's unlocked, so you could rotate it and lock it and everything. It's a good thing we didn't need to actually mix or anything. Just pouring the sulfur in there was enough. Good enough for our purposes. We don't care about how well the battery works, we just care about um, emptying the thing. Because now, hopefully, if we drain this, we can pump up water. We care for our comrades. Wait, huh? huh? It's still insufficient asset? We need to do this again. I'm assuming. Alright, well, we have another card, I guess. Alright, but it should be much easier now. Because the hatch is already open, so all we need to do is bring the card here. Which conveniently is already here. No, I was not aiming at you. Need to move this empty one out of the way, though. No. At least the switch is not broken this time. I want to try this again, because I swear you could do this. Nope, it says it's blocked. I thought you could. That's not far enough. Keep going the wrong way. And you go that way. What? The? Is 
And I've broken the junction again. Lovely. Well, at least I can save this time. Oh, actually, I didn't need to. I could have just used the autosave. By the way, Cyan, if you're listening, please make games with more than two save slots. For a Let's Player, I like to have a save at the start of every video, and this way I can't. It's very annoying if I need to go back and fix a video. Okay, I guess that's just something that happens if you try to do what I do. It's like... Move it with the card on it. Alright, here we go again. Get the sulfur. Running up the stairs. It's not dizzying or anything. Filling the mixer. Let's see if I can see it this time. Yes, there we go. Oh, I gotta wait for that to finish. There must still be a water reservoir here, unless this is being pumped from the main reservoir. Alrighty, hatch is already open, so this should work. Draining the holding tank. Now you better have enough acid. I thought the level in here just doesn't change at all. But minor point. Here at least we can see the progress. Almost done. Alright, we are good. Now please let me drain. I will be very upset otherwise. Alright, I worked the power out. Why is there power out now? It's all blinking red again. Um, no we don't. We require power, and it's out. Sometimes I swear the time goes. Well, that's uh, progressing, at least even without power. Can't really see it pour into the like below and I doubt you could run around fast enough. Okay, well hopefully we won't need power for anything. The door's already open after all. I guess they cut the power as a precaution when putting new Doors already open after all. <coughs> Okay, I guess if the power's cut, the door closes. Fill safe, close. Awesome. We're trapped in here. No, we're not. We have conveyance pods. Um, we want to go to the reservoir.
Who needs to go through doors when you can teleport? Not me. No siree. Ooh, the water level is lower. It's lower, but it's not low enough. So we were getting water. So hopefully this time, all I need to do is activate that pump. Oh yeah, I have to go a long way around. Wait a minute. I can't go the long way around. Because the lift won't have power anymore. Hopefully if we turn the pump on, we can drain it further. Yep, no power. That's what I was afraid of. Well, we already have 115 volts, right? Should just be a matter of turning that back on. Total voice is 165? Hmm, I guess pouring fresh acid in here changed how much power these produce. And yes, indeed, if you did this the math way, all of the values for the electrodes will have changed. I think they've all increased by like five or something. Um, so you will have to figure that out again. But hey, we did this the easy way last time. Well, let's try doing it the easy way this time. All we need to do is make a shorter circuit after all. Let's see. Oh. Turn this one. That's the easiest shortcut we can make. Oh, and it works. I kind of feel like Maybe that it's intended? Because both times it's just like you make the longest possible and then you make one change and you got 115 the first time. And now you make one change from the new new configuration and you're back at where you need to be. And so it doesn't this puzzle isn't particularly designed in a way that to force you to figure out all the values. But we have 115 volts again. And we have power again. So let's go back here. I'm just running because it's a lot of back and forth. That is otherwise... Oh. Ran into some frame rate glitch. Otherwise, kind of uh, repetitive. Oh, wait, this is not where I'm going. It's, that's what happens when I run, I guess. I forget where I'm going. Let's go to the lift, which should have power. Is it down here? No, it's not. Need to call it. it. And we're back here, which should also have given us power for the pump again. We do eventually want to go to that uh, bunker, and it looks like I need to reconnect these to give those power. So, might as well, while I'm here. And open the door, in case I need it. Don't think I will, but just in case. So let's see what happens if we 
just directly pump water from here into the vat. So where's that going? Is it just going straight into the holding vat? Just wondering if I can see. Is that fuller? I think that's fuller. I think we did just pump water into there. Yeah, that is where the pipe is going, so that has to be the case. So yeah, that makes sense with the diagram too. Like when we were filling acid, we directly pumped from the reservoir uh, into the mixer. And now with the pump, we can put water into the holding vat. So yeah, that does make sense. Okay, but... Uh, that's not the wrong way. We pumped water... ...out, so hopefully the water level is even lower. There has to be a way we can do that... ...in uh, St. Andrew as well, then. Is it low enough? I can't tell from here. I really can't tell from here. Can I use the pump again if I wanted to? No. It says the acid holding vat is full. Once again, and we have no more sulfur, so we probably cannot pump it out. Um... Which means I... Oh yeah, I need to take the lift to get back to the other side. That's what I need to do. Okay. You definitely run into some... I think it's probably a loading if I... Or something. When I run into there... Hey, we can at least be thankful that this game doesn't have any puzzles that require you to go through ridiculously long loading times over and over again, like a certain other high-end game. Even though, on the whole, I think Abduction is a better game. I do really like this game, too, but... Abduction is just a little bit more fleshed out, I feel. Okay, now can we do this? Wrong bridge. Uh, now can we do this? Yes, we can. We can reach that bridge. That a so no, that's a light. Not a socket. Plenty of clearance now. All right, now we'll find out what's so important beneath here. Not a whole lot, I have to say. Not visually impressive, but there is another lift. That's a call button. Know the process by now. Ooh, I think we're in the tower. Spire, whatever. Oh. We stopped. Why did we stop? So oh, now. No matter, we can't go further up. Now we can look out through here. Kinda cool. Hmm. 
<clears throat> More creepy statues. What are these balls that are holding? Don't know. Um, that's really all that's there, is there? Oh, it's the embrace. Engage the embrace. Success! If you can hear my voice, then you have started to awaken the embrace. Now two more before the portal is opened. The assembly is at hand. Um, I guess that's a good thing. Um, I do actually have a hypothesis about who these statues are and what they're holding. But, uh, that's a spoiler, so... Not telling you. So far, all, uh, that seems to have happened is that uh, this ball thing moved over there. That's it. We do it again? No. We can't disengage it either. The firmament does not believe in undo buttons. Uh, something else happened as well, though. We saw something drop from behind there before the, the sphere moved. So, I guess we go back the way we came. Just kind of a pain. Be nice if we could just get to a convenient travel pod from here. Or conveyance pod. Oh. Oh! That's what dropped. These bridges lowered from the sides of the... Tower. Which provides us with a way to go any way we want again. We can head back to our starting conveyance spot, or we could go to that one in the factory. But it also gives us an easy way to get back to the bunker, which we haven't checked out yet was ever since we provided it power. And that's kind of why I didn't go all the way around to go look at it, because I knew that we would have a shortcut to do that later on. Kind of, not much of a shortcut if it's just the way we could go originally, but different. Okay, well now we know what's in the towers. The Embrace is in the towers. Do we know what the Embrace is? No, we don't. But it's what we're supposed to be doing, I guess. And then the portal will open, which I guess is also something that's supposed to happen. And then we just hope that whoever's talking to us isn't evil or something. She did say she would lie to us. So hopefully doing this isn't like completely the wrong thing to do. It's not like we have any other choices. It's either this or just sit in St. Andrew and do nothing. Which I guess wouldn't be too bad. I can think of worse fates. Alright, let's see. We can raise it. Wait, can we raise this one while we're standing on it? If so, I feel like you're gonna get crushed. Okay. 
I have to try. Now it works. Oh, there's just barely enough headroom. Nothing else though, so once again this is not serve any purpose. Even though you think it would, especially in a cyan game. It does make you wonder, does St. Andrew also have a bunker? And we just haven't seen it yet, or is it the only one that does not have a bunker? No, that's just a side. Um, can we lower the bunker all the way in here? Yes, we can. Gotta do it! Never know if it's gonna reveal a door or something. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, okay, that's... Not much here. Jewelston Sulphur Pools. Responsibility of Keepers. We saw one of these before in the... It wasn't in the bunker in uh, Curieville. But we did see it in, uh, in there. Alright, we inspect metal and concrete for damage, repair if necessary. Inspect water pipes for damage, repair if necessary. Monitor pool temperature, correct any deviation. Monitor pool acidity, correct any deviation. Monitor atmosphere quality. Don external oxygen, bioarc kit. There's a cursor there that I can't get rid of. A bulwark kit is what it says. Or evacuate, appropriate deviation. Oh yeah, things can get bad here, apparently. Maybe if the weather's bad or something. Um, inform other keepers in the realm of any deviation. Inquire from other keepers in the realm of any deviation. Confirm with mining and reservoir keepers that sulfur and water supplies are well stocked and of expected quality. Confirm with battery keepers after any variation or alteration that electrical voltage is within acceptable ranges. Vita sustentari, sustentari debit per firmamentum. Okay. Life is sustained by the firmament or something, I'm guessing. Still not good at Latin. Um, Alright, well that makes sense. So, yeah. The pool down below with the electrodes is a big chemical battery. But what is it providing power for if not the other realms? And if it is providing power to the other realms, then how does that work? I don't know. I think that's all we got here. We awakened the embrace. There's nowhere else we haven't gone. So all we can really do is see if we can awaken the embrace in the other locations. I think I can go this way to get to the conveyance spot. Yes, I can. Now that we have all the upgrades, we should be able to make more progress. We are going to the swan. The question, of course, is what order are we going to do this in? I've kind of already abandoned the original order since I did the, uh, the embrace part of this realm first, rather than going back to... Um, 
uh, to Kreeville and doing that one first. So how about inverse order? We go back the way we did it and go to St. Andrew, do that one next. I kind of want to go there next because I'm really curious to see what this Camelus thing is and what we're supposed to do with that. So we'll head there and see what we can do with our fully upgraded um, adjunct. But we'll do that in the next video.